a decade after the 2008 financial crisis, unemployment still reached its high rate. Lots of people lost their jobs and employers stopped hiring. More than 10 years ago, students taking arts degree are 50 times more likely to be left unemployed. The latest research by the Luminate site in 2018 still shows the arts graduates are more likely than others to be in part-time employment. As an important form in the visual arts, painting, which has been declared that so many times over the past 150 years, is now experiencing a major revival. However, the consequence of the economic recession, together with the daily life demand, still force the artist standing as a career crossroads, pursuing a professional artistic career, or leaving the passion behind to find the other job to make ends meet. In recent years, there has been a trend when discussing the status of an artist. People within the art community are describing artists as either a part-time artist or full-time artist. In this context, full-time means the artist is able to earn 100% of his or her living from selling art. Meanwhile, the meaning of the part-time may vary itself. I graduated back in 1997 from uh, the Arts Institute in Bournemouth. When I left art college I had to work and I went and worked in bars and clubs and when uh, I worked my way up I'd become a licensee. My life took a completely different tangent. I wish someone had given me a bit more advice and support when I was younger. I'm a part-time painter, uh, ideally I'd like to be a full-time painter but I have a job and I, my main job keeps me in living and then the rest of the week when I'm free I do as much painting as I can. My friends and my family were mainly saying oh you should work, art isn't ever going to earn you any money. Melissa's story is just one among many different cases of local painters in Burma artistic community. Actually, Bombard has seen the strong and vibrant movement in the creative industry. It's not difficult for us to find any street art or actually any art festival in Bournemouth. In the county, there's also a painting club called Dorset Leisure Painters. It seems to be just for leisure, but after nearly 40 years of existing, the club had modified its activities to provide better financial support for all members. And being a member of this club gives you the ability to exhibit within our exhibitions and sell your work within the exhibition. And that was what the ethos of the club is really, to encourage people to come along and enjoy their art. My grandnephew is at Bournemouth University doing fine arts. He will be graduating very, very soon. And it does concern me. I don't know quite what the opportunities are for him. And I think it's very, very difficult for youngsters coming out of a very specific um, area and finding employment. Hi, Auntie. Uh, I'm Zoe. Nice to meet you. It's nice yeah. to meet you. Can I see you? Yes. So you are the first uh, year student mm -hmm. in the UB, right? Yeah. The Art Uni of Bournemouth. You have you got three more years, right? Yeah. So do you have any plan for that? Uh, my main goal uh, would be to be a model and contemporary artist. Some people choose to be full-time artists. Okay. But some people need to choose to be a part-time. Okay. So to you. Which one you want to? Oh, I definitely want to be a full-time artist. With painting and um, the process of painting, the process of making any artwork, there's a lot of thought that goes into it. I'm thinking about like this piece um, has changed almost four times now. Some students I know they get shocked mm -hmm. 
when they graduate because maybe about the financial aspect. aspect. Now I have to learn about a lot of marketing and uh, stuff like that. As soon as I graduate, like I'm planning already. In terms of uh, selling pieces, there's not a lot of uh, platforms that allow you to do it very, very easily, except for Facebook. It's very simple. You just post pictures, you put the price, put the description of the piece, and if any buyers want to buy it, they just uh, contact you directly. As University of Bournemouth is where Adi and other future artists are being trained, this is one of the main talent pools for the creative industries of the county. The unemployment situation seems to remain unchanged, but in fact, young artists are not altogether alone. There are people and local organizations dedicated to nurturing talent and supporting local artists. One such organization is the Gardens Art and Makers Market. We are living in a commercial world in which the artists need to do more than just traditionally creating artwork. Marketing plays a vital role in any artist's career, which helps them to be able to survive in today's competitive creative market. The mature painters are now changing their way to do art to adapt, while the newbies, since the university, have more access to the modern media for their stronger starting points. The artist is an artist. Full time or part time is just so called label. Instead of making choice, striving for adapting is one of the recommended solutions.